Thank you. Um, hey, uh, first off, um, great respect for Nichols um, State. Obviously, won the league last year and picked to win the league this year. And um, respect to how, how hard they play. Uh, we're a good rebounding team, and they, they beat us to balls all night long. Um, so uh, that was disappointing on our end. But uh, give them credit. Also, I thought very well coached. Um, I thought they played hard. They're tough. They're old. And I think the really thing that impressed me is that they're, them all staying together. Win a league last year. Probably everybody was trying to pick pick those guys up and, and take them, and uh, they stayed there. So uh, I give them a lot of credit. And um, uh, uh, so uh, good players and uh, well coached. And uh, um, so and St. Old, I, that's the most impressive thing to me is that they held on to their guys and, and done a good job. So. Uh, that, that's impressive on uh, those guys, those players. So, um, as far as us, you know, we weren't uh, very good offensively. Start, I wouldn't say to finish, but uh, we finished the last 15 minutes much better offensively. You know, we we haven't been as good as I, I thought we'd be, and we've got work to do. Yeah, but um, we we got it done down the stretch, and, and def our defense kind of took over. Uh, and then we really just start playing a lot better offensively and getting some touches. But again, 10 assists, 15 turnovers. I mean, our numbers are not even close to where we need to be. And uh, I've got to get this uh, uh, figured out. The ball sticking, we're over dribbling. And, um, but we're playing hard. You know, we're playing hard. And, and uh, you know, we're defending. We're holding them to 32% from the field and, and so doing some things. So we got to get ready for uh, Santa Clara. And uh, obviously, they beat Stanford, they beat Nevada by big margins. So we know that they're good and old. I knew they were old teams. So um, we've got to we've got to get older uh, from today to, to to Monday. We've got to get uh, better, and that's what we will do. Jimmy, one, one of the bright spots for you when you guys got down 13 points early in the second half. You guys mm -hmm. came back with your own 13 and run. Yeah. Were able to pull. What was kind of the key? To you during that I, you know I think just really just making some pad we first I think the first basket was a post touch we threw it inside I mean we, we, we're just not the ball is we're just not sharing the ball simply put I mean, we're, we're over dribbling we're not looking at what we're trying to look at uh, we're not seeing what we're uh, uh, doing but we started doing it in the second half I thought Chuck was a, a big part of that he made a couple nice passes uh, post speed I thought uh, Fran gave us some steadiness Max did some good things on some penetration um, but you know it was it was certainly way too late to start doing that and uh, so um, I did uh, you know they they, uh, they uh, came out and got, and got in us we had to make some shots and I, I do think this is a team right now that we we are frustrated really quickly if our offense and I'm talking really quickly if our offense is a click you know, if we miss our first shot or don't get a shot uh, and, and so we're struggling with that right now, and uh, we've got to figure it out. But I, it shouldn't be that much of a surprise because we've been playing different in games than we practiced. And we, you know, I think that the, the, the new, this many new guys and, uh, uh, and expectations, uh, and, and, getting, and then guys in and out. Damien's our best distributor, best passer. Take him out, and then we're starting. So um, he, he, that's that thing. We, we play Max, who hasn't really practiced for a month. So there's some things you, you, you don't want to be messing with your guard rotation. You know we are doing it again here at TCU, so we've got to get that figured out, and we will. Coach Mike, obviously that game last year against Kansas was zero points. Just after struggling so much in the first half, does it kind of show some development in his game as a player, just to be able to come out and play really well in the second? You know, we we talked about some things and how they're guarding. It seemed that they were almost jumping them, and every time you put the ball on the floor and, and double teaming to a degree, I wouldn't call it tri truly a double team, but. Uh, um, you know, they were, they were cutting us off. They're quick, one through five. They've got good size. And and um, so, you know, you just I think he kind of got off it a little quicker. But, uh, um, you know, I, I hope, you know, you hope we, we just, he's got the ball a lot. And so uh, we've got to be better with it. And, and then we got to be better getting open and playing without it, too. So, um, you know, I, I just I think we can be really good offensively. And, and, some, you know, and, and I count offensive rebounding as one of those things. But, We've got to cut down turnovers. I mean, that, that's 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 doing a lot of things hurting us on offense, and then obviously hurting us on defense because we've had too many live ball turnovers. But Mike's, uh, uh, you know, as a brother, he got to the basket and got fouled, and you know, that's that's you know, that's what he's really good at. You know, getting fouled and making free throws.
Coach, would you like to see Fran get more shots offensively? Well, I mean, it's easy to say, harder to do. Obviously, you know, everybody in the gym knows he can shoot, and, and uh, so they're going to they're gonna try to take it away. I thought those shots he got were good. You know, I don't think he's ever going to get, you know, 10 threes uh, unless we're playing a really bad defensive team. Um, but uh, we, we're, we're trying to get him shots, and, and uh, I don't think he passed up any today. Um, but uh, you know, again, he's you know, it's it's uh, you take four shots and you get uh, um, you know six points. What do you have? Eight points? Is that we're talking about? Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we stat them out analytics wise, and you take four shots, you end up with eight points. That's like really efficient, and so uh, um, he was very effective for us. I thought he played good defense for us today too. Um, uh, so that was good. But yeah, I, we 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 want him to shoot open shots. That's for sure. Um, but you know the other teams tell them you know don't let them take open shots too. Uh, so um, you know we 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 we've got to get out, we've got to get everybody more open shots offensively. We're we're, we're not there uh, where we need to be. You know most teams are. Coach, you mentioned the offense has been too stationary. Do you is that what you attribute a lot of the turnovers to today, or more the physical defense of Nichols? Uh, I thought I thought Nichols had something to do with it, but we've, we we this is about what we're averaging. I mean, we're 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 about that number, and so our goal is to be ten or less. So we're, we're not. That's five doesn't sound like a lot, but it is. Um, so, like I said, in in each of our last games, I don't know if we did today, but we got all of our goals except the turnovers one. So that's about the same thing again. Except and the rebounds today was the other one. So. Um, that one, that one, that one surprised me. Uh, the, 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 uh, the turnovers, we've got to get fixed. I mean, we, we've got to improve on it. And you're not going to fix it overnight, but we've got to gradually get better. We were, but once we've gotten the games, we haven't been as good. But give that and Nichols uh, some, some credit, too. And, uh, again, I, I was really impressed how they responded because they, they, Baylor came out and just hit them early. I was surprised the score. But they made a bunch of threes early, and it just got out of hand quick. You know, got 20 quick, and then they kind of hung around for a little bit. But you know, they just we missed open threes. You know, we missed open threes early, and then and did some bad decisions. And you know, they struggled to score. Obviously, we're up seven two. I think it looks like they're struggling to get a shot. But we we didn't we didn't do things offensively, and it could have gone that same way. But we didn't. And that's that's where we gotta uh, grow up. Defensively in the second half, Micah had a couple of big steals, yeah. fast break baskets. How big was that for momentum? And, and what are you seeing from him these it first? It was. Time? I mean, he's you know again he's uh, um, you know he's I mean, he does he's a good player. He's, he does a lot of good things for us, and we're just going to help him get get improve. And you know he's taking he's playing more on the perimeter and taking uh, got a couple of good open shots today and, and did knock him down. And uh, but that's fine. Like I tell him to keep taking open shots, but. Keep defending, and I thought he didn't. He got you talk about steals, but I thought there was a couple times too. He, he uh, um, uh, they, he, he, he defended penetration, get in front, and made him take tough, uh, make tough plays at the end, down, especially down the stretch. So yeah, no, he's he's part of us being a really good defensive team, and I, I think uh, I think we're we're on our we, we've 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 done that, and we can get better. But he, he's a big part of it. He's uh, um, and and you know we we I keep telling him that, I keep telling him that, and. and so many guys are just are, are that those offensive uh, numbers are, are where they where they look at a lot, and so we've got to, we've got to uh, um, you know uh, acknowledge what, what the really good things you're doing too at the same time. Over the course of these first three games, you've talked a lot about the shooting and the turnovers, but what progress have you seen in the first three games from these guys? Uh, for us, I, I thought you know obviously rebounding took a, a step backwards. That was a, a, you know I don't know I got, we got to look at it. Um, um, that was that was problematic. Um, you know, defensively, I, I, you know, field goal percentage has been good. Uh, defense, um, we forced turnovers. It was 19 again today. So we, with within our, our, our framework, our concepts. So uh, you know, I think I think that was showing some improvement uh, defensively because I think I think we're uh, they ran some different stuff and I think we we, we had an opportunity to see it and I thought we handled it. We really. Um, Guarded. They didn't run a lot of sets, but uh, we, we guarded those pretty well. Um, I, I think the balls, uh, the ball got uh, um, the balls not moving like it should be. That, we're, 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 we're at the same point. We, we haven't made the progress I thought we'd have. I thought, and I say that, and I thought we got a little better the other day. We got frustrated when we missed open shots. I think mean, that's what it was. We got frustrated early, quickly, too quickly. Um, when we didn't make open shots to start this game.
Jacob, when you look around the country and some of these mid-majors like in Oakland beats Oklahoma State, UMKC beat Missouri, is it just important to avoid an upset? Oh, big picture, I mean, well, this is, a, this is a more dangerous team, I think. So this one was interesting, but um, no, it's what you're supposed to do. You got eight, you got a bunch of new guys, so you're, you're trying to uh, find your thing out. You got some guys in and out, and you know, um, uh, so that that that's a uh, you know that's a challenge. But um, yeah, we, we you gotta yeah, you gotta get better. And you gotta get, see some guys how they play. Um, you gotta get uh, uh, constant. You gotta get them playing out in front of some people. Um, there's, all, there's all kinds of reasons, you know, and, um, you, you know, we got to be a better team Monday, you know, however, it, this gives us a, another thing to, to look at and, and see and handle a little better. Any last questions, Coach? Yeah, Coach, do you guys have an update on Damian at all? Yeah, I mean, he was walking around. He told me he was going to be playing today, but I, I kind of had a feeling he wasn't um, based on it. So he was walking around. He did shoot some today, so, you know, I think he's saying he's going to be ready for, for Monday, but, you know, it's just like Max, you know, I mean, being out for a month and then you come back, it's usually, you know, you know he, he's not going to be out that long, but, um, you know, it's an ankle. I mean, you wouldn't think it'd be this long, but it is. And uh, um, he, he's got some swelling. Um, so I, I don't know. He says he'll, he'll be back, but I, I, I don't know. We'll see. we'll see. We'll see how it goes here. We'll be off tomorrow. We have to be off tomorrow, and then we'll go practice Saturday, fly out, practice there Sunday, and then play Monday. Thank you, Coach. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, Coach. Good night.